Hey guys, it's Tyler here, back once again with another video here to talk about the Assassin's Creed Ezio collection. And the main topic I wanted to discuss was, now that it's been about 48 hours since the announcement trailer came out for the game, I want to talk about the reaction that everyone seemed to be having. I'm kind of flabbergasted with uh, how negative it's been. Uh, uh, there's definitely some positive out there, sure, but there's quite a lot of negativity and people just disappointed and like, I expected so much more, this isn't what I wanted, blah 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 blah, and I'm scratching my head at why? Because, and obviously I say that question why and all of a sudden you, all your keyboard fingers of fire will start writing comments before you even listen to what I'm going to say. Because um, I know why, but I'm going to explain why that's retarded essentially because uh, I think it is uh, obviously who wouldn't want you know uh, that's a fan of the Ezio games to have a total remake all these new graphics all this new gameplay reanimated all this you know crazy cool shit where they all look spectacular brand new games uh, I mean obviously that would be pretty cool I mean the, if it turned out bad the old game's still there to play but at least they gave it a shot you know I mean they're such amazing games Sure, I, I can totally get why people would want that, but we're now in September of 2016. The game comes out in November of 2016. We knew that before the announcement. And people expected that? Or even expected more graphics upgrades at least, or the very least, you know, we just wanted some parkour changes, or we just thought the graphics on all the games look so much better. I don't, I'm, what the fuck did you expect this to be? What? in the world did anyone expect this collection to be? I'm excited. I feel like I'm the only one that's excited and I was the cynical one before the game was announced. And it's just because I, I manage my expectations. It's all about guys managing our expectations. Do I have high expectations for Empire next year? Yeah, that's what you should. They're taking a year off. They're doing the right things. You know they can make great games, Ubisoft. You should have high expectations for Empire. You should expect big things from next year's game. Now, this year's game is just a collection of the Ezio games brought onto new generation consoles, the current generation, and with slightly updated graphics. Well, very, pretty much exactly the same as the Nathan Drake collection was to the PS4. They've done some textures and some shadowing upgrades, and it looks a little cleaner and a bit of a better frame rate for consoles. It's nothing huge, but it's cool. It's... Uh, that's all I ever expected this to be. What in the fuck did anyone expect this to be? I'm so confused of how anyone was sitting there going, they haven't announced the game and it's coming out in two months. I bet it's fucking amazing. What is it? What do you mean? If this game was announced in March, like a normal Assassin's Creed full game is, yeah, I'd expect something big too. Like a full, like a Halo 1 to Halo anniversary remaster level you know that's what you'd expect if they're marketing it big they're showing it off at e3 like of course but this isn't a the, all the big you know gaming conventions have come e3 games compacts they didn't announce it then they announced it after because it because it's not a huge deal it's a cool deal People that have never had the chance to play the Ezio games, people that are newer to the franchise that have played things like Unity Syndicate or even like Black Flag and 3 are like, oh cool, I don't have my 360 anymore, I don't have my PS3 anymore, I've got an Xbox One, I've got a PS4, I'm going to play the Ezio games. They are updated, they're going to look smoother, they're going to look cleaner, it's got all the DLCs involved in them, I can watch Lineage, I can see Empire, you've literally got everything that is Ezio and that spectacular story, plus DLCs that I'm sure a lot of people never played, will get a chance to play now even if they play the games. Now these new people, or newer fans, get a chance to play it, plus even maybe people that have never played it before. Now people have brought up to me, uh, someone like Ace99Billy uh, said to me on Twitter, it feels like all the new games are for new players. And I'm like, that's a great point. It does. If it, I, get, I get the argument. I understand why people are like, I want a game for me. I'm a hard C fan. I've been around for a long time. Why can't I be pandered to for once? I get it. I've been around since the first game as a fan. I get it. But, you got to remember that this isn't the game to complain about. That I give AC grief 
for things like Syndicate and Unity for, for trying to change too much. Assassin's Creed 3 for trying to change too much, for trying to reinvent the franchise. We know what we like. You don't have to change everything. Of course we want more updates, we want things to get new and progressive and try new things, but to just totally throw out the old and make a new thing, you lose something there, and it's happened twice now in the franchise with Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed Unity. It doesn't make them bad, but it, it changes a lot. And that's them pandering to new fans instead of pandering to old, and they should be trying to treat the hardcore fans, the loyal fans, with at least some sort of respect. But this game isn't against that either. This is the Ezio Trilogy. If I mean, sure, I could play the Ezio Trilogy right now. I've said this time and time again. But, I mean, it, as the years go by, my console could break my 360. I'm not going to buy a new 360 ever again. You know? But I'll have at least the Ezio Trilogy, the games I have to have. I have to play the Ezio Trilogy at least once a year at this point. It's just a tradition. It's They're my favourite set of games ever all as a collection. So at least to know I'm going to have that for years to come. And to see the remaster. Uh, to be totally honest with you, I'm I in terms of managing expectations, everyone had this bar that was so high that it was bizarre to me that this bar was set so high. Like James and people. I, was, I, was say, I said it time and time again. I wasn't trying to be negative, and it wasn't to be like afterwards when the trailer got shown to for me to go, oh, I told you so, because it's not, and I told you, it's just, what, obvious, but of, but of course that's what it was going to look like. What did you expect it to look like two months out? What, I, I, it's critical thinking and logical thinking, and you can land at this sort of expectation level. I was pleasantly surprised. To me, this is the... For my expectations, this was the highest um, they could have landed in my expectation bar. There was, you know, let's say this is my expectation bar. The Ezio collection hit the high point. I didn't have high expectations. I was pleasantly surprised of how good Assassin's Creed 2 looks in comparison to the original one. Even though Brotherhood and Revelations look more or less the same. I mean, I've seen some comparison shots. There's some cool little texture upgrades. It'll look smoother frame rate wise. Sure, that's going to be cool to have. AC2 does look very different. That to me is at least somewhat I'd be okay with them being like, it's Assassin's Creed 2 Remastered. First of all, a remaster, they're not changing gameplay. That just doesn't happen. That's not what a remaster is. You start changing gameplay and graphics and everything and reanimating. You're remaking the game. You're doing a remake. Too much money. Waste of time. You don't really need to do it. Obvious, but of course, obviously for sure, 100% they're not going to do that. Two months out from it releasing and they announce that. They're not doing it. It's just, I, it just goes back to expectations. They, they hit the high point of my expectations, which was, wow, a really improved Assassin's Creed 2. About as much as I expected of improvement from Brotherhood Revelations. Great, all the DLCs are in there. This is cool. In two, I didn't know this was happening. Two months later, I'm going to get it. There's not much of a waiting time between that. This is cool. There's nothing I'm going to complain about with this at the end of the day. Would I have w liked them maybe to wait years down the road and do a bigger version of this? Sure, but this is what we're getting. You know, once the leak was out and it's supposed to come out in November, I, my expectations had to be managed to a certain level. and That's what they were and that's what was meant. To see this negativity now and to have these high expectations just tells me there's not much logical thinking going on and critical thinking going on. Or maybe we're just having unrealistic expectations and that's just going to lead to disappointment. It's nothing to be disappointed about with this Ezio collection. It's going to do good things for the franchise and bring bring in fans and give them a chance to experience something great. The Ezio trilogy is great. Why not let these people that have never played experience it and be happy for that fact, but also even give yourself the opportunity to be able to have the collection and play it back to back on a single disc or a single downloaded game on your console to play all the DLCs, to watch these movies, to have a little bit of an upgraded looking game and just enjoy it. Like, it's not a big deal. You don't have to get it. If you've got the old games, don't get it. It's not a huge deal either. I just, I'm surprised that knowing we're going to get this collection when we did, the expectations were so high. That's what surprised me. I understand that people had those expectations to some degree when we had no idea. When we're like, I would like this to happen. Sure, I'm the same. I'm with you guys on that. But as soon as this leak happened and then the trailer comes out and everyone's like, I expected more. Why isn't this look, this looks the same, this barely looks different, I thought this would be a full remaster, I'm like, what? Again, I'm just repeating myself at this point, but this, 
I just, I, I'm confused because if, I'm sure people in the comments will still say, but I wanted this, but I wanted that. They should have done this, they should have done that. Cool, cool story, bro. I probably agree with you. But the reality is that's not what we're getting. And I didn't expect to get that either. Between the time we've got the leak to the time we've got the announcement, you've had that time to figure out in your head How's this announcement going to go when it's coming in too much? I wonder how big of a jump it's going to be. They're not marketing it much. They're not talking about it much. It must be amazing. It must be a full remaster. That's not a logical step to take in mindset. The logical step to go is it's probably going to be the best of like the Nathan Drake collection. It actually looks a bit different. It's going to run smoother. It's going to look a bit better. And it's the collection. Cool. That's the, what, you kind of, the bar I had. I was actually pleasantly surprised. It's, it's new, a whole, I'm excited, I'm going to have all new videos to make for you guys. We're going to be able to all together revisit it as a community, together. We're going to get to play some new shit, new achievements, new easter eggs. We're going to be able to see some new stuff, I'm sure. Play DLCs you never played before. Copernicus Conspiracy? I never played that. That was only on PS3. I'm going to get to play that for the first time. That'll be nice as well. Nice little treat in there. And I get to have my favourite trilogy of games on a console above. I'm not as excited for the Ezio Collection as I am for other games, of course. I'm more excited for like something like the Skyrim Remaster, sure. That's going to be great. Uh, but that's because certain degree of expectations. I have high expectations for the Skyrim Remaster. Uh, for various reasons, I get to do it on a console what I haven't done in other games. This, I'm still very excited for this collection, more than I expected to be. And I think it's just about managing expectations, guys. Uh, and I think we should have done a better job doing it. Because uh, there's nothing, I don't think there's a single thing to be upset about. In terms of being surprised. To be upset and go, I wish they'd waited a couple years and done a bigger one. I get it. Sure, I agree with you. Um, there's no argument there. Uh, but in terms of you want it this year, you want it in two months? There is no way in the world you're getting anything better than that. Again, 100% and for sure, you're lucky to be getting something that looks actually this good. So, I'm excited. I'm going to make some cool videos. There's going to be some justice. There's going to be some new achievements I get to do. And I'm going to get to play my favourite games. And they are going to look better. And they're probably going to play better. And we're all going to get to enjoy it together again. And have a flashback and some nostalgia as a community. So let's enjoy it as a community rather than have these unrealistic expectations of a port. It's a port of three games. What, are we, what did we expect? I'm... I'm still confused. I hope that maybe after 48 hours have gone by, we've kind of calmed the fuck down and gone, yeah, I mean, what else did I expect? That's a fair point. What else did I expect? I wish they'd waited more time a couple years down the road and done better, but they haven't. You know, what else did I expect? This will be fine. I'm excited. It's going to be cool. Don't it's not, you, I don't expect excitement from me or anyone else. Like, it's going to be some brand new game, but it's going to be cool. Let's have some fun with it. We're going to have a better game next year. We're going to have a full brand new game next year that you should have high expectations for. I have high expectations for Ubisoft to doing the right things. And if they don't deliver, then let's talk shit. Because there's no reason next year's game should not deliver. This year is just to give us a little gift and a present. Tide us over and be like, look, we're sorry. Thank you. Here you go. I hope you enjoy the nostalgia. That's all I got to say. You got a problem with it? As I like to say, that it's a meme fucking now, I don't care.